take a base coat and apply one layer onto your nail. Wait a couple of minutes for it to dry. This is what it should look like. Then take a blue nail polish, apply two coats onto your nail, waiting about two minutes between each coat. Then wait about 10 minutes for the blue polish to dry. Then take a white nail polish, pour some onto a piece of paper, and take a bobby pin to use as a dotting tool and create five dots on your nail. Dip when necessary. Make sure the dots are not touching each other. Once the white dots have become tacky but not completely dry, take a toothpick and from the center of the petal, drag. This will help define the petal. Make sure to clean off the end of the toothpick when necessary. This is what it should look like. Then take an orange nail polish to use for the center of the flower. Here I'm using a pink, but I think an orange will look nice. Then dip the other end of the bobby pin into the pink nail polish and put a dot in the center of your flower. After a good 20 minutes, apply a top coat. I did some research online and the two top coats with the best reviews were Sec Vite Dry Fast Top Coat and the Sally Hansen Mega Shine Extended Wear Top Coat. And this is what your final product should look like. Hey everyone, it's shout out time. Now before I get started, I want to say one thing. Future reference for all my future subscribers. When you guys subscribe, if you want to comment or message me a little something about yourself, I'm totally cool with that. Because I like getting to know you guys. And then when I give my shout outs, I can say a little something about you. Let's get started with the new subscribers. We have nine. And first is my friend Comer, whose channel is Joshy K. Now he's new on YouTube and just getting started. So it would really help if you guys went and checked out his channel. Then we have Miss Lick 2008. Then we have Boombox Love 8, Life of the Party 6, Cassidy and Shanna. And then Tammy, who's a YouTuber, her channel is Miley Love a And we have Taylor, who's all about horses, and her channel is Taylor Loves Horses 16. And then we have April, a dedicated guru follower, whose channel is Hopeless Shopaholic 1. And then we have this insanely creative guru, whose channel is Oddface, and her videos are like incredibly artistic go check her out and that's it for the shout outs but I do want to give a couple of my own shout outs so my other channel has almost 200 subscribers and I was wondering should I do like a 200 subscriber contest I don't know um like I really want to but then the thing that's holding me back is that my subscribers on my old channel um, I don't really hear much from them, so I'm kind of wondering like if I do a contest, is anybody going to participate? So that's what my drawback is, like I don't think, you know, the people aren't as interactive on that channel as they are on this channel. So I was thinking that I should just save the contest for when I get 100 subscribers on this channel. So let me know what you guys think, if you agree, disagree, so maybe I'm just only crazy one, you know, I don't know. 
Anywho, another thing that I wanted to say was sorry to all of my boy subscribers. I know that this was a girly video. It's just that I've been super busy lately. It's just easier to come up with girl videos than it is for me to think of boy videos. I did want to kind of show you guys what I've been working on. I have some art projects that I've been doing. So the first one that I finished is this one right here. Yes. This is acrylic, and I really like how it turned out. Um, kind of simple, but I don't know. I just really like the colors. Another thing that I was working on was, you see this picture? Left my papa, and I took that picture for Father's Day, and then I was going to, like, draw it. Now, I didn't finish it by Father's Day, but I'm still working on it. Okay, let's see. Can you kind of see that? Sorry. There we go. Um, not quite done with it though. So this is what I have been up to. I'm trying to finish this as soon as possible because, I mean, how belated can a belated Father's Day gift be? You know, I don't want to like give it to him a month from now. Although his birthday is a month from now. Anyways, I don't want to procrastinate it. So I've been working on it like two hours every day, every other day. You know, um, so I gotta finish that. And then another thing that's on my to-do list is I must read these three novels in the next month. Okay, so let's just combine the thickness of all these. Like maybe if I had to read one, okay, I can do that. But I mean, three fat novels. And if you know me, I am like the slowest reader on the planet. My goodness. <laughs> so Spark Notes and I are going to be getting very close this summer. Sparky. No joke. So that's gonna, man, I don't even know how I'm gonna have time to do that. And then my last project is this one for art class, AP summer project. Yeah, I have to take this book and no, thank goodness I don't have to read it because this on top of the other novels, I would die. Anywho, so I glued the pages. And so like this is like all glued together and it's a big chunk. Oh, it was glued. Oops. Okay. Um, well, for the most part, it's glue. And I have to like take this book and transform it and make it all artistic, like cut it up and make a story, not really a story, but like a theme and paint it and collage and knickknacks and yada, yada, yada. And it's, it sounds like so much fun. Like I can't wait to dive in, but time I don't have time so anywho I just wanted you guys to know what's up with me this summer and you guys can let me know what's up with you because as I said I like getting to talk to you guys see what you're up to all that good stuff anywho to conclude this video please subscribe and I will give you a shout out in my next by the way, you guys, if you like the music in this video, then check out the link in the description bar because my brother made the music and you can check out his website below. Thanks. Bye.